yeah, the right stuff. Like you in the Hey everyone, I am back with the second part of our packing stuff to Victoria so you guys can see how we pack the van which is behind me. It currently has his sports chair already placed in the car. It's just easier to put it in there now because uh, everything kind of has to go around the sports chair. Uh, so. So the last thing that's going to go in the car is going to be Mario's um, clothes clothes bag and his wound care. They're usually in the same bag. He has a really big prime gray um, duffel bag. And so that will, that will be the very last thing that goes in the car and that'll be right before we leave. And then I'll put his wheelchair in a space that I leave all the way up front. Um, so what you guys didn't see was I brought everything that we already have that's ready to go in the car outside. So the stroller, the chairs, um, the water for his uh, overnight dialysis, the machine is over here, um, his tires are out here. Last night I changed the tires and the inner tubes and aired them up. Um, all of mine and Maria's stuff, um, the cart, like everything is out here. So let's get to it so you guys can see how we do it. So one thing that I learned to do is turn his sports chair upside down. When you turn it like this, it doesn't move whenever you have it on its wheels, it like moves around a car. And then I play with the tires for it. Behind it and they don't move. This is the wagon. Two chairs. Yes, one is really big. Well, they're both adult chairs, but that's because Maria loves to sit in an adult chair. She doesn't like the little ones. Extra, extra thing of diapers. makeup bag this is the electronical bag and so for those of you who don't know the great thing about having this van and I guess other vans is up front right well not up, all the way up front but in right behind right in front of the second row of seats behind the second row behind the front and right in front of the second row those lift up because they're intended for this fully to lay flat and so this chair right here I actually put stuff in front of Maria in the little cubby where her chair would go if I laid it flat but I don't so that is where her diapers um, my makeup bag and the camera bag that I'm currently filming on, that's where that stuff will go. So I'm gonna put that there right now. Some of it. Diapers, makeup bag.
Okay, so one of the new additions to us packing is Mario's dialysis stuff. So this box right here is the water. And then his machine is over there, but I'm gonna put in my and Maria's clothes bag. Can't forget the cushion for his chair. For trips like tournaments and things like that, I usually don't take the stroller. It's easier to walk with Maria and then whenever we get everything out, it's easier to just put her on top of the stuff in the wagon. And so we just take the wagon instead of taking the stroller. It's way easier. If you have kids or if you do a lot of moving or doing a lot of stuff, I recommend getting one of these. We've had it probably over a year and we take it to every tournament that we go to every tournament <laughs> blanket number one for maria in the wagon um she will nap in this i can lay blankets down and make it a little bit more cushiony and she will lay down she will take her full two to three hour nap in this wagon super great they also have an attachment that goes to like chairs in the wagon and things and it comes within like it's an attachment for an umbrella works great keeps her in the shade and kind of helps cool her off we also got from amazon we got maria a portable fan so this stays with her it has three settings i think i've already told you guys about this three settings you can set it for a timer she doesn't like it on the high setting though she doesn't look really like wind in her face, but whenever it's super hot outside, this works great. This right here is, you guys kind of saw me pack it. Pack it, I repacked it a few times. It has my laptop in it now. It has um, the microphone that I'm gonna need to do the video that I'm currently doing and stuff. And so it has that and then it has like a couple of other things, but this will transfer into our day bag while we are at Victoria. Or while we're doing any tournament I try and make sure that I have a backpack and that holds everything that we could possibly need in it and it will hold a first aid kit it will hold tape for his wound care it will hold um, sunscreen lotion band-aids for Maria in case she does her random falls and wants a band-aid she rarely wants one um, hand sanitizer I do keep face wash and stuff like and anything shower wise in the front just in case most of the places that we go to they have a shower available so if something does happen I can get Maria fixed up cleaned and changed um, but this it was a gift um, from a friend of mine his name is Justin J10 B Ballin excuse the logo he's a little weirdo I love you Justin um, but he is a gamer and I actually won this on his channel and so shout out to him if you're a gamer if you like watching any of like any kind of game right now I think he said he's doing Apex and um, Fortnite uh, but you can watch him on Twitch at just J10 be ballin on Twitch so go check him out if you're a gamer and you like watching that stuff Of course, guys, this is the tripod. Um, I am not 100% sure whether I'm going to take this yet, but I'm going to show you guys how I pack it. I may just pack it and leave it in the car. The handstand, which is currently what the camera is on, so I may not use this at all, but I'm going to pack it just in case. Okay, and last thing that we're going to need to pack that you guys are probably not going to know at all what it is. This is not a printer sitting on my lap. This is Mario's at-home dialysis machine. He just finished his last at-home dialysis training session today. So he is fully certified to go through and do his at-home dialysis. We're super excited. They're expecting maybe six months on this and then Mario will come off of dialysis altogether. We're so we're extremely, extremely excited about this. Um, so this will, until he's off of it or he decides not to do home dialysis, this will go packing with us. The other things that go with this will go in his big gray duffel bag that also has his wound care in it. 
he currently still has his catheter that's up here just in emergency cases i'm pretty sure it's supposed to come out next week is what he told me and then all of his wound care for the abdomen piece that he has that goes with this so hopefully fingers crossed he comes off of everything in six months since his kidneys are doing really good which is rare so that you guys know it is very rare for somebody to come off of dialysis but you know we're extremely blessed that mario has been able to get the the kidney care that he needed so that he is hopefully back to normal and back to being our amazing young wheelchair gamer that we know so this has to go with us now as well this is most of the stuff that's going to need to go with us two chairs the wagon electronic bag another electronic bag here mine and maria's clothes we all, I always pack them together she has a little backpack that she'll carry with her that little backpack usually has toys for her two diapers and baby wipes in it um i figure if she still wants to be in diapers i mean she's only two but if she still wants to be in diapers she needs to carry them um mario's dialysis machine water for him his sports chair with cushion and then um his tires the one thing that we're missing right now that I haven't put in is he does have a bat bag. Um, he has a softball bag. I haven't put that in here yet. And he has two bats that usually come with us. And then in the front underneath the thing, I have pads. I have diapers, baby wipes, and my makeup bag because we always do a team dinner that I like to look nice for. And then also the camera bag for the camera that I'm currently on. Um, and then we're missing... I guess like Mario's everyday stuff that he's gonna need that's gonna include his wound care his shower stuff and all of that so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy hopefully this guy this helps you guys if you ever you know decide to take a really long road trip so yeah and we saw plenty of other rooms pack anything else that we decide we need along the way so you guys have a great weekend we will hopefully see you at softball Bye. What it is in this channel, knowledge with the light at the end of this tunnel, whoa, tunnel, whoa, whoa.